Hi there, it's Sim from Heirloom Naturally. We grow old-fashioned vegetables and seed in the field without chemicals in the wonderful high country town of Mansfield, Victoria. And today I'm outside harvesting nasturtium seed and I thought that it might be something of interest to you. Uh, I get a lot of requests for heirloom flower seeds and I don't have a lot of variety so this summer I thought I would make a concerted effort to plant some more heirloom flowers, uh, so things like sunflowers, nasturtium, cosmos, nigella, those kinds of things and they will soon be added to our growing collection of seed that we have available for sale uh, on our online store. But as I said we're here harvesting nasturtium seed and behind me you can see the start of our espaliered apple orchard. And these are all heritage apple varieties. My gosh, the taste is absolutely divine. But what we have done is underneath each of our apple trees, we have planted either warrigal greens, and I'll cover those in another video at some stage in the future. So either warrigal greens or nasturtium flowers. And there are a few reasons for that. Uh, the first is that they are a wonderful pest control tool, really. Um, white cabbage moth, butterflies. Uh, the butterflies absolutely love to lay their eggs in nasturtium leaves and so what it does is that it creates a bit of a catch crop for those uh, butterflies to lay their horrible uh, caterpillars that tend to eat all of our brassica crops if we leave them as they are. So um, they're a wonderful way to um, attract those moths away from where we want them but they also assist in um, attracting beneficial insects as well so bees are always buzzing around them they absolutely love them um, we see things like uh, hoverflies uh, and lots of other beneficial beneficial insects uh, going within our nasturtium flowers the other thing about nasturtium is that they're edible so the leaves and the flowers have a lovely peppery taste to them and you can add those through salads through summer wonderful um, a really unique way to get that peppery flavor into your salads and a lovely colorful way to do that um, but also the fresh seeds are also edible uh, so what i might do is i will pause it turn it around so that you can have a look at the nasturtium plant itself and we'll talk a little bit more about the seeds and how to harvest them Okay, so here are our nasturtium plants and you can see that's the bottom wire of our espaliered apple tree. So they're, they're quite closely spaced, quite abundant, um, but also getting to the end of their lifespan. They are an annual and we're at the end of March here in Australia at the moment. And very soon we will receive our first frost, which will completely knock out the nasturtium plants. So uh, now is the time to start looking for those wonderful seeds if you're thinking about collecting them for yourself, or indeed if you're thinking about perhaps preserving the seed also. Um, what I will do is I will zoom in here, if I can, ah, there we go. There's a lovely cluster of fresh nasturtium seed right there and they are in fact the seeds that you would look at preserving very much like capers um, so if you do a google search for pickled nasturtium seed it's a bit of a tongue twister um, you'll find a lot of recipes on google uh, it's absolutely delicious so give it a try um, the seeds do need to be lovely and fresh like this to get the, f the best flavor out of them but you can see there that that's in a little cluster of three and I'm going to come up over the top here just to give you an idea this is a lovely spent flower and if I can manage to open that up I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this mm. oh yeah there you go uh, you can see that there are the beginnings of three little seed heads and generally nasturtiums will will grow their seed heads in triples like this so if we let that flower continue its growth path which we will uh, it will actually end up with a little cluster of three nasturtium seeds like that one um, now certainly you can harvest that if they will come away easily and actually they won't come away easily so that is a very good sign that they're not ready to be harvested 
and in fact if you did harvest them to save for seed they probably won't germinate for you so we'll leave those on the plant and come back to them in, a, in about another week's time to see how they're going but really the easiest way to harvest nasturtium seed is and this is where I'll become a little bit of a contortionist so bear with me <laughs> okay um, so if we go in underneath and you can see there a mixture of both green seed oops there we are but also let me just collect up some of these dried seed heads Where are we? down here And right there are the dried seed heads of nasturtium. So when they're ready, they drop to the ground. And if left there for a few days, a week or so, they will dry out to this stage. They almost look a little bit like little brains, really. And they are a clever little plant. Uh, so at this stage, we'll take them inside. We'll leave them for a few more days just to make sure they're fully dry. And then from there, they're ready to be reseeded after the, after the frosts are finished in uh, spring.